beautiful paints. Docks at Sea. Can't wait to try that one. This one just looks beautiful. When Night Kisses the Meadows. I can already see the colors on the top of it. Awake at Dawn. Tales of Love. Hmm. King of Fools. Atomic number 16. Knotted Willow Tree. Dragon Scales. Beautiful. Okay. Into the woods. I've got fresh paints, fresh waters, nice and clean. Okay, so my first one is Tales of Love. Um, and this one is um, the red and turquoise. Red and turquoise. And again, I just love to hold the little pans while I'm painting. I don't know why. So I'm going to do some thin stripes next to this, next to their names. Nice, beautiful blue. I'm going to clean my brush, get some fresh water, and then put that clean water on the end of it and pull it out so we can see where the change is happening. Oh, you can see it on the palette too. You can already see the blue and, and subtle pink happening. Okay, Awake at Dawn is a turquoise um, color with a soft baby pink granulation. So we'll put a little bit more water in the palette. That nice and creamy feeling. Oh yeah, this is lovely. And look at that, Tales of Love is darkening and separating already and that is just magnificent. So Awake at Dawn, it does look like a beautiful dawn, early dawn glow, that blue hour. It is lovely. I'm going to add some more paint in there. Make it nice and thick. Um, okay, I'm going to get carried away here really quickly and start just painting stuff because these paints are so beautiful. Okay, I've got my clean water. I'm pulling out the end of it. Nice long stretch. <clears throat> and let the let the paint expand into the water and do what it does best, which is stretching out, coloring everything. Uh, when, okay, so our next one is When Night Kisses the Meadows. So interesting. Such an evocative name. Cannot wait to see how this is going to look. Um, it is a violet and green separation. All right. Um, my paper's not pre-wet. I'm just painting it right on dry paper. It might have a different effect if I was painting it wet. Um, you could totally do that if you wanted to. But I kind of like seeing both um, I like seeing the hard edges on one end, and then when I add a lot of water to it, I like seeing the softer edges. Um, so it doesn't bother me that it's kind of I'm painting wet onto dry. So I've got my clean water, and I'm touching the edge, and I'm pulling it out with my clean water. And you can see how deep and rich this color is. It's already moving around. I'm going to do another little line underneath it. Um, oh, this is just lovely. I'm going to go in and touch those areas up. I might take another little bit of clean water and pull it out a little bit more. It really wants to cover the space. It really wants to fill up the water with color. So just a fantastic color. Okay, new favorite one. This delivers. Okay, this is Docks at Sea, a brown and blue granulation. 
it's nice and the palette the pan itself is nice and shiny oh look at that that is lovely looks like mossy stones looks like autumn leaves I can see the color changing in the palette going from brown to green yeah this is great just a beautiful color it's such a mix of colors that are found in nature too um, so when you're painting with a granulating color it's doing that thing that we see in nature that's multiples of color it's wanting to spread into the cracks and crevices of the watercolor paper um, it's wanting to change change in ways that are completely unexpected which is what makes it great as a painter because I I know what color it's going to be but it's just a, a surprise I'm going to do a drop more of color because I cannot resist. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at that. <clears throat> it really is a beautiful brown and blue. It's just lovely. Okay, what is my next one? Oh, King of Fools. King of Fools. <clears throat> yellow and blue granulation so we'll see what we have oh lovely almost a greeny blue i'm gonna get just a bit more so that it's nice and thick so i have a nice dark end to it i'll pull it out a little bit more and now I'm going to get my clean color, my clean water, and pull, touch that end and just pull that out. My paper's starting to buckle a little bit, so it's wanting to roll back to the other end. So I kind of have to help it along um, by pulling where my pulling the paint out where it's wanting to pull at the other end but it doesn't bother me these are just swatch cards and I'm interested to see how it wants to work on the paper so it even pooling down at one end is not a deal breaker um, but I'm just going back to kind of touch that spot underneath and make sure that paint is thoroughly moving around my little swatch okay atomic number 16 what an interesting name yellow and black separation so I'm probably going to like this one. All right, it's lovely. I can already see the yellow happening down in it. Yeah, I can already see it starting to separate. And that yellow is coming out underneath it. So I'm going to pull this down. Got a little debris in that. Um, I'm going to add an extra dark bit to the end. It's still wet, so it's really still accepting paint as if I've just applied it. Um, I'm going to pull the dark part down a little bit more. And then I'm going to come back in with more clean water at the end and stretch out this. lighter color area so I can really see what the paint looks like when I put it on real thin this would be lovely for um, river rocks as well any nature areas or uh, poisons um, it kind of has a cool acidic green look to it so if I was painting in Halloween inktober um, little potion spells with poisons and interesting things spooky spooky season things that would be a good one um knotted willow tree deep brown bra brown and a black granulation get some clean water and i get my paintbrush full of paint full of water sorry I'm saying the wrong thing full of water nice and full and then really load up the water in my um, pan um okay nice and dark really like the bark of a willow tree and 
I'm going to pull it down. A couple nice long strokes. Now I'm going to get my clean water and touch the edge of that and pull it out. Drag it all the way down to the end and let the paint move into that area that I've just created for it with the water. It only wants to go where the water is. So we kind of help it along. Like I said, it's the paper's buckling because I'm adding, applying so much water, but I like it to kind of pool in areas and I can really see these nice long swatches. I can see what the paint really wants to do when left to its own devices. Okay, this is Dragon Scales, um, brown base color with red and green granulation. So, whoa, this should be good. Load it up with a lot of water. It is already shimmery and colorful on the surface. So, we have a nice long area that I can put a stripe in too. So, yep, I can see the red underneath it. Looks good. Promising. Yeah, and in the pan itself, it's already granulating and, and, and the color is changing a little bit. Um, so I can see that red that's down in there that wants to come out. Okay. All right, that is dark. And I've, well, it's my last paint, so I've mixed it in with my clean water, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to pull out, start from the top, and pull out all that um, extra paint. And there's a lot of puddled, nice pigmented paint at the bottom, so we'll get a nice, long pigmented streak across the bottom. I'm going to go back in, um, get my cleanish water, it's not very clean anymore, and make pull more of that out more of the paint into the clean water so that I can just really get an idea of what it wants to do if I um, were to use it in a painting and let it spread out. All right. Absolutely beautiful, granulating colors. I can already see that dragon scales getting the green spreading out into it. <clears throat> Mm, King of Fools, lovely. And you can move the paints around if you want more. Like I'm moving the dragon scales around to get more of that red moving down into it. Totally fine. It's my last one that's really wet on this one anyway. Oh, Docks at Sea, just gorgeous. Brown and um, blue. King of Fools, Atomic Number 16. They are fantastic. I can't wait to um, start using them. And um, we'll... Take a second, let these dry off, and then look at them when they're dry. Okay, look at the dry colors um, from the Into the Woods palette from the Tiny Tinkery. Tales of Love, red and turquoise granulation. You can really see how beautiful it is. They're separating. You've even got little bits of pink in there, just lovely. Awake at Dawn, um, beautiful the turquoise. I don't get the baby pink coming through, but I got this beautiful deep um, purple that's happening back there. But the turquoise is just lovely. So I think if I have a bigger swatch, I'd have more variation in some colors. When Night Kisses the Meadows, oh my gosh, I can already see the green meadows, the purple sky. Um, it's just lovely. So I can't wait to have some expanded area to really see how these colors intermingle. Docks at Sea already. I know it's going to be one of my favorites. See beautiful blue, a beautiful kind of ochre brown um, going even into a tan. It's just lovely. This could be a shoreline. This could be an edge of a river. It could, it's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, could be a stone. Um, a beautiful color range in that one. King of Fools is lovely. Um, mossy greens and blues. This just looks like a stream bed to me. I just love it. Atomic number 16 is going to be so much fun. I can think of so many places to add this in at the edge of leaves to my um, all my Inktober art, all my spooky season art. Um, so It's so much fun. It's granulating. It's beautiful. There's a yellow underneath and it's 
and it's granulating on the top in this really beautiful way almost looks like a lizard skin um it's just lovely and amazing knotted willow tree has some gorgeous shapes and granulations happening and then there's this little bit of brown so i can't wait to expand that one out and and play with that some more and dragon scales still even a little wet on the corner gorgeous greens and reds down here going into this really deep ready brown absolutely like dragon scales so really perfect i'm really really loving these and i'm excited to get to paint with these final look at my into the woods palette from the tiny tinkery and the beautiful granulating colors tales of love awake at dawn when the night kisses the meadows a best painting ever docks at sea king of fools atomic number 16 knotted willows tree and dragon scales oh just exciting evocative paints and i can't wait to get started thanks so much for watching